year one and year two welcome back after half term i hope you had a lovely restful and relaxing half term break this video is going to launch you into your new literacy topic for the next two weeks at the end of the two weeks you are going to be writing a set of instructions have a think can you remember what instructions are That's right, we use instructions to tell our reader how to make or do something. If you are in year one, you are going to be writing instructions to tell your reader how to make a magical paper crown. And if you are in year two, you are going to be writing instructions to tell your reader how to defeat the fire giants. Defeat means beat in a fight. Today, I'm going to explain some of the key terms you are going to learn over this unit. If you get stuck when you come to your lessons, you can always come back to this video to remind you what they mean. The first term that you will see is imperative verbs. You might remember looking at these already in school, particularly if you are in year two. Can you remember what imperative verbs are? That's right, sometimes we call them bossy verbs to help us remember where and how we use them. We use them in command sentences. Command sentences tell someone what they have to do. They're not questions, they tell the reader what they need to do. An example of an imperative verb might be cut, stick, gather, chop. Pause the video now and see if you can think with an adult at home of some other imperative verbs that command people what to do. Did you think of lots of imperative verbs? Perhaps you can share them with your teacher on your daily class Zoom. The second thing that you were going to come across in your instruction writing unit is subordinating conjunctions. If you are in year one, you won't have looked at these yet. But year two, we have a couple of terms ago in our literacy lessons. The ones that you are going to be focusing on year two are the subordinating conjunctions when and if. You should remember how to use them from our lessons a couple of terms ago. You might know some other conjunctions too. Year one, I wonder if you can use the conjunction because in your sentences. When you're writing instructions, you're going to look at how you need to number them in order so that your reader knows what to do when. You're also going to need to include an equipment list so they know what they need to bring with them. Make sure you follow each lesson carefully in the unit. If you miss one one day, you need to go back and watch the video. Otherwise, your final instructions might not include everything that they need. We can't wait to see all of your daily writing on the emails and perhaps some of you will even be able to share your final written instructions on your class Zoom. Try really hard and focus on every single lesson this unit. We can't wait to see your instructions. Good luck!